much like that. <laughs> he just sits there and stares a lot. <laughs> it's easy to see why, because he was sucked in, washed up, and blown over. And when you are washed up, sucked in, and blown over, it's enough to steal the song from the strongest of hearts. Say that. And let me tell you something, if it hasn't happened to you yet, chances are that at some point in your life, you're going to be sucked in, washed up, and blown over. I'm trying to tell you, there are some situations, there are some circumstances that will be painful and frightening. And you won't ever understand why it's happening. You won't have a clue. Simply because they are a test of our faith. Sister Joseph would tell you that any faith that can't be tested, sure enough, can't be trusted. And when the test comes, they sometimes cause us to ask, where is God? When all hell breaks loose in our life, a decision has to be made. Will I hold on to my faith? Or will I let go? Songwriter said, I almost. Yeah, I almost let go. He said, I was looking for the breakthrough, but I, I just didn't see it. And so we want to walk through this, this text this morning and take another look at Brother Job as he faced this tremendous test, this devastation, this pain, but he held on to God. Even when he had no real reason to, he kept trusting God. Contrary to popular belief, uh, the book of Job is not about suffering. Suffering is an aspect of the account. But we don't get any answer as to the when, why, and where of suffering. Uh, contrary to popular belief, the book is not about patience. Job was a man of patience. No, whatever. I hear someone talk about the patience of Job, I realize that they've never really read the book. Patience was the last thing Job had. Especially when it came to his three crazy friends. And so what the book is about is about faith. About faith in God. What does faith look like? What does faith act like in the flesh? Job was a man of great faith. Look at verse 3, then the Lord said to Satan, have you, have you considered my servant Job? Look at him now, there's no one on earth like him. Blameless, upright man, one who fears God, and he shuns evil, and he still maintains, he's holding on to his integrity, although you incited me against him to destroy him without a cause. Now to understand the depth of Job's faith at this point, Chapter 1, verse 8, God pointed out Job's righteousness. And Satan challenged him. Job was faithful only because the Lord had protected him. And only because the Lord had blessed him. And verse 3, Job, the Bible says that was the greatest of all the people of the East. Job had huge herds, livestock, bunch of servants to tend to them all, he had a large family. Seven sons and three daughters. Lost it all in one day. Satan is always the accuser. He accused Job of being a fair weather friend to God. He said, God, you got him hedged in. You're protecting him. If you send a storm in his life, he'll drop you like a hot potato. You can take all this stuff, he'll stop calling your name. Yeah. And God allowed disaster and death to come upon Job's family. In one day, less than 24 hours, he lost it all. I say he lost it all. For some of us, it takes a little time for us to lose something, but he lost all of his hurry, all of his livestock, most of his servants, all ten of his children. And despite what happened, Job remained faithful. Job said, Nick, I can't. 
and naked I shall return. The Lord gave it, and the Lord take it away. <coughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord. In all this, Job did not sin by charge of God. The wrong door. And so the plot when we get to chapter 2 is essentially a repeat of chapter 1. Again, God points out the impeccable character of Job. And again, Satan maligns him and accuses him. Verse 5, he says, but you, you stretch out your hand and touch his bones. 